Hi all, this is Corrine from Spirea Herbs and Snail Trails Homestead. I'm going to do a quick video today about the difference between poison hemlock and Queen Anne's Lace because they can look very similar. So I'm going to show you some distinguishing features of Queen Anne's Lace and what to look for when you want to harvest this plant. So I hope you can join me. So this is a Queen Anne's Lace. Latin name or botanical name is Dacus Carota. And I'm going to apologize in advance for how loud the road is, so hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, just uh, Queen Anne's Lace and Poison Hemlock are both members of the APACA family, which is the carrot family. So they are going to have some similar characteristics. But I want to show you how to identify them. So both are going to have what's known as an umbel. So the flowers form an almost an umbrella type shape. In general, Queen Anne's lace tends to be flatter. You see how it's flat and doesn't really have that umbrella kind of shape. That tends to be a general thing that you'll see. Also, the purple flower in the center can be an identifying characteristic as well. And the story goes that while Queen Anne was making her lace, she pricked her finger accidentally and a single drop of blood landed on the lace. I don't know how, I love the folk stories that go with identifying plants. So the poison hemlock will not have this purple flower. Another identifying feature, and I hope I can get it so it doesn't get too blurry. If you look closely, Queen Anne's lace has a fuzzy, a very hairy stem. Poison hemlock will not. It'll be smooth and it will have purple splotches on it. So again, the fuzzy stem is a really great identifying characteristic. Because they're both members of the APACA family, they're going to have similar leaf characteristics. One way to, they all look similar to carrot because it is the carrot family. So you don't want to use leaves as your only identifying medium. The leaves are slightly different, but they have that fern carrot light um, appearance. So like I said, don't use that as your main way to identify the difference. Hairy stem purple flower in the middle and the last identifying characteristic and you can really see it on this one here because it's not open yet there we are Let's see if I can get it to there do you see these little brackets Queen Anne's lace is going to have a set of three of them underneath the flower so see if I can get underneath you see them there right there okay poison hemlock is not going to have that so the three brackets underneath, the fuzzy stem without purple splotches, and the little tiny purple flower in the middle. These are our identifying characteristics for Queen Anne's Lace. So when we're harvesting in the wild, it's really important that we know exactly what it is that we're working with. So this video is one reference for you. Make sure you check multiple references. Um, I always recommend having a herb identification guide of some kind. And so my favorite is linked below. You can check that out, but just know that it's basically for like North America, my area. So if you're from like another country, <laughs> you'll have to find uh, your own identification guide. So just to recap, both poison hemlock and queen anne's lace are from the ABACA, which is the carrot family so they will have similar characteristics uh, number one what you're looking for to ensure it's queen anne's lace queen anne's lace will often not always but often have a purple flower in the center so that's one identifying characteristic the second identifying characteristic is the stem queen anne's lace will be hairy it'll have hairs fine hairs all the way up the stem and no spots Whereas poison hemlock will be a smooth stem with purple splotches. So look for that. Something's biting me. <laughs> and then the last identifying characteristic are those brackets I showed you that are underneath the umbel shaped flower. Queen Anne's lace will have three, um, like a group of three of them that 
come up from underneath the flower. They're called brackets. It's so loud here. <laughs> Poison hemlock will not have those. Um, other things to look for, and again, these are just, you know, the stem, the purple flower in the center, um, and the brackets are the main ways, but often Queen Anne's lace will form more of a flat flower head, um, whereas Poison Hemlock will have more of that umbrella type shape. Like I said, I'm going to reiterate this again, get a good field guide and also triple, quadruple check your resources before you go harvesting anything. Poison Hemlock um, has earned its name and you really, especially for things like tincture or tea, you really don't want to mix those two up. So thanks for watching. Uh, check out the links below. I'm on social media and uh, there's some links to blog posts and some of my favorite homesteading and herbal gadgets below. I appreciate you sharing this video and liking all of them and I'll see you next time with another video from the homestead. Thanks!